hello guys so today we're in Sibiu Sibiu Romania and I'm here with the Dr. Nureen yes hi guys <laughs> welcome to Romania yeah so we'll give you a short tour of our... this is the center of Sibiu if you see this wall here mm -hmm. this is uh, Piazza Mare and Piazza Mica the center of Sibiu so Sib now we are literally driving beside beside them the center of Sibiu um, so on the left side the hospital located and the, on the right side this way we have the city center the actually. city center yeah. exactly exactly well we'll show you about there so let him introduce himself first yeah sure guys hi uh my name is Nureini. i'm a doctor here medical resident in oh. psychiatry mm. this is my second year okay in, uh, in romania and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful country as you can see around you. Mm. I, I really like Sibiu, just look in front of you. You know, okay. it's kind of like a calm city, mm. uh, as you can see in the spring, it's also very beautiful. You can see the greenery. Um, what I like about Sibiu is that yes. it's it's a big city, okay. but also very calm. And mm. uh, there's no that much traffic jams. Um, it's easy to find anything you want. Everything is like five minutes drive from mm. you. And uh, the people of Sibiu actually are also very nice people. And before that, you said this is the wall, the one which. Yes, this is the center. Mm, it kind of looks like China, China Wall. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It looks like the Great Wall. Absolutely great Wall of right. China. Yeah. yeah. So this building you see here, yes. this is the University of Sibiu, uh, mm. another uh, camp, department. Department, okay. and this is the Department of Economy. Economy. Yeah. And right next to it, you'll see uh, Anaf. It's a and, and Czech Bank, which is one of the biggest banks in, mm. uh, in Romania. Romania. Wow. Yeah. And one thing I want for I, for, I forgot to add is that CPU yeah. is a very touristic destination. Mm. So we'll go to a couple of places. I'll see. I'll show you now. It's one of the biggest touristic destinations for Romanians that are coming uh, that live in Romania and also for some European countries. Oh, okay. And uh, in 2007. CBU yeah. won the European Cultural City really? as the, yeah as the number one European cultural city mm. in, uh, in all Europe oh, wow. recently this year yes. it was won by another city called Timisoara oh Timisoara yeah so yeah Timisoara yeah. also is, is is good looking also I went I went there one one time it's really so, beautiful yeah. yeah this is a big stadium mm. football stadium for those who love football so do they, if they have a big match here as well, by it occurs? Yes, like, yes. Okay. As far as I'm, I know, I'm not, I'm not following the, uh, the league, uh, the Romanian league, okay. but uh, the CPU's, CPU's team is in, uh, I think it's in uh, second division league mm. of Romanian. It's called Hermerstadt, Hermest, something like that. But you can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong there, but as far as I remember, they're in the second division, not the first division. I see. Yeah. Stadium. Yeah, it's called Stadium Municipal Sibiu, and it's massive. It's really big. Oh, yeah, it's, it was, it's actually brand new as well. It was recently developed. Wow. Yeah. So even if once in a while, if they host the World Cup, we'll be here. <laughs> yes, you never know. <laughs> it's a very green country. This is called Samarini Park. Mm. It's uh, basically the biggest park in Sibiu. It occupies like a very long distance also. Oh yeah, it covers a big space. And uh, a lot of people come here for jogging, running, and just peaceful time. Some bringing the children. And if you live around this area, then you're kind of blessed because you know, it's, it's, it's that close distance to you, to the to the park. Yeah, and also they have <coughs> cycling. Also, somebody can do cycling inside. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, like you go on top of the mountain, or you even come down, or even jogging also. Because the jogging road is the same, people also do cycling, so you can enjoy also as a way to exercise and you can rent some bikes just around the, the park for less than 25 cents bike for one hour. So now in Sibiu, we have also the Astra Museum. It is over here. So, because I'm new here, I'm trying to act as if I'm... <laughs> yeah, so, doctor will give us... We'll have a tour a little bit and see what you can enjoy once you are schooling in here. Yeah, so this place is called Astra Museum. Yeah. And uh, it's a museum, uh, kind of like an open museum. Mm. And you see the cultural life back okay. in the days how Romanians used to live oh. we'll go to their houses 
when you go inside the park, you'll see, mm. you can see their houses, how they used to live and all that. So I it's, a, it's a, one of the best destinations for right. uh, someone who's coming for tourism here. I see. And I forgot my student card. Should I bring it? I think. No, we'll... no, no, no. Okay. And now we are entering the museum, Astra Museum. See the entrance here, and we have a nice view. I think this is like a barrage or lake. I think it's a barrage, like or swamp. I think. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Astra Museum. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Binat Vinit, in Astra Museum. Yeah, so we're gonna go right over there, and I think here they, I think, uh, do people. I don't know. You what? can actually, yes, you can oh, go there. stand over there, right? You can stand there if you want to have a beautiful time with the, someone you love. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and the weather is cool, like you can feel the breath of tropical. Yeah. Breathe, like <clears throat> from Africa, exactly. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Actually, this is one of the best times to visit Sibiu. Like, if, mm. it depends what you like. So, if okay. you like snow, we have snow in the winter. Mm. And uh, if you want to have a beautiful breeze in spring or summer, okay. this is a good time. So, in the in the winter, yeah. this whole place is, is covered with snow. Mm. This lake is fully frozen. Oh, and, somebody uh, can walk on. You can walk on it. Wow. Yeah, in the winter. It's a whole different thing. Experience. All this greenery that you see mm. will become uh, like, uh, that's it, dead. You know, all the mm. all the leaves will fall and you'll have like a brown view with the white snow you know wow yeah let's jump on this one this is uh... <laughs> are you ready yep yeah. you know how to swim in case you fall <laughs> <laughs> i'm not right? i'm one one, on, one, one, one no i'm one <laughs> among the, the few ones okay <clears throat> like I've, I've, I live close close to the Lake Victoria, but I've never swimmed, and I'm scared. Wow. I'm scared. I went even to Zanzibar one time, yeah. and we tried even wearing the life jacket. I couldn't swim. You wear the life a life, life jacket. jacket <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. And I ended. I, I entered inside the water and I was feeling like I wanna die, you know, <laughs> in a supine position. And I came out and that's it. Okay. I took only some photos. So, but I'll learn, guys. I promise you. Until until next year, October. Until this year, October, I'll, I'll swim. You'll be swimming. Here. Yeah. So we're gonna go that side and have a little bit about the history, but see about the nature here. How it looks like. So you can come here and chill once you are done. Maybe or tired with the, it's all stressed with the exams. So back in the days, like fishermen, homestead with the windmill, this is how they used to live, the fishermen lives here in Romania. So you could see the house, which is typical, so African style, I think the same right? resembles, yeah. yeah with a gate here and some flowers out out and you can see even the roofing style the same as african even some african yeah. like s some yeah, tribes the still them, the yeah yeah, yeah. still the still they do roofing the same you can yeah. see there these are grasses dried grasses i think but inside they kind of added no more roofing but it's typical like yeah. that and you could see a uh, like stove like the stove in, yeah, yeah stoving yeah, and you could see some bench where people could sit and discuss or eat also. Yeah. And I think this side you could find some also keeping some of their... Oh, fishing. You could see some nets mm -hmm. fishing. And here I think, yeah. This would probably be a storage or where, maybe where they keep the animals like the... Yeah, yeah, I the, wanted the, to the say the, the same, uh, yeah. Like ducks or... Or, or, or goats, yeah. yeah. And here is like a cooking stove so basically you put the fire here mm. and then you cook here you know wow yeah this is smart one this is is typical african yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so romania was once african style <laughs> and you can see here from outside <clears throat> like the house where has been placed is close to the to the let's say a swamp like but let's see let's talk about the swamp over there so you could see also the other house over there and the other house over there close to the swamp to just like do fishing and people from work they come here at home to sleep now this is even more african let's see. <laughs> wow see 
Yeah, exactly. Even, uh, I don't know, Kenya or Tanzania. <laughs> yeah, still, right. still, <laughs> like this life persists. Yeah, yeah, still, exactly, yeah. using material like and no electricity at all. <laughs> yeah, we call it Jamvi in Tanzania. Yeah. Still, yeah, yeah, this typical Turkish a little bit. Yeah, mixed also some cups. These we still use them. Right, Romania. And this is probably. And these are mazes, you know, maize normally w when you, we take them from the farm, we yeah. dry them, then we can't remove them from the, the attachment. And this one, we use them as firewood, so, so you can use them to cook, yeah. Okay. Wow, yeah. ironing materials also, stove kind, oh, yeah. Nice <laughs> I remember seeing this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> and also inside, typical looking like that. So this is the fisherman. Lifestyle in Turkey account in Romania. Wow! Welcome to Romania. This side also have a look. Sleeping bed. And also here I think like sitting. Discuss and also coffee. Coffee or tea. Machine. Doing storage like was here inside. And somebody could come here and chill in front of the lake shore shore swamp so you can see here we have the floating mill located exactly close to a river so this is still austro museum you can see different looking for the houses back in the days and horses there cows too Wow, Astra. We are climbing Mountain Paltanish, one of the beautiful eye sites also here in Sibiu. So come and study in Sibiu, come to Romania. <laughs> and I'm here with the Dr. Nurain. Yes, enjoy the ride. <laughs> this is a beautiful ride. You're gonna wow, love this. nature! It's springtime now. You can see flower time, spring season, and you can see forest here going on top of the mountain. And I think we'll have some activities to do on top over there. Yes, right? absolutely. This is the start of the climb, mm. so we haven't started climbing yet. But as time goes, you'll see yourself. You'll be way above the, the the ground maybe about 1000 meters above the sea level okay yeah and also there are some housing over here i saw also a hotel close by so accommodation also if you want to come and do camping here yes actually yeah. this is a very touristic destination and there's lots of hotels also you'll see as we climb the mountain mm. you see more and more hotels wow um, you see there's a big hotel here yeah. this is just the beginning there's more at the top as well so a lot of uh, Romanians and also people from other European countries and around the world, they come here to relax, take an air breeze, fresh air and enjoy the, the beautiful weather. We are still climbing to the top of Mountain Paltinish and we just stopped by here to have cool water straight from the river on top of the mountain, Paltinish. So I need to get some drinking water from here straight spring water from spring the water mountains. yeah i had this one local one yes whatever you get blessings <laughs> let let me try drinking naturally from from the spring wow what do you think <laughs> i don't know how to describe Delicious, multi delicious. <laughs> delicious. Straight from the mountain, natural water. Oh man, real like my thirsty hole has gone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mountain. Paltinish. <laughs> Pal Paltinish. There's a nice uh, valley there also, we can have a look at it. Okay. And then we'll oh, yeah, continue climbing. Shilkas.
Here is the barbecue area. So you can see all these people here now. Mm. They came to relax, to barbecue, enjoy the weather. And wow. in the summer it's actually even more busy. Mm. And also there is, I think, uh, like waterfalls. <laughs> so also the breeze is kind of nice, like natural. Well, we're on our way to the mountain on the other side over there. You can see the, I think it should be a river or waterfall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's. 1000 feet on top of a mountain. Come and have a look here. It just seems like an art, a little bit. Have a look. See, guys. Like an art of green with gray here, gray, gray. But actually, these are just trees. Yeah, nice breeze. Yo. It's beautiful here. So the skiing area. Yeah, you can see even though we are in spring, yeah. but in, we are at the top of the mountain, so there's still snow leftovers, you know. Yeah, and also it's still still cold here <laughs> on top. See the building. So we are in city center and we are heading close to Piata Mare. So this is like the main street to Piata Mare or to the city center. This is the main street here. Yeah, and I think some during weekends or some days here they they do some sell some things, right? Yeah, there are a lot of activities during the weekends and okay. in the summertime as well. Okay. Um, when we we'll go to the square you'll you'll see that during summer they like this sometimes they bring some theaters mm. uh, sometimes there's some kind of uh, activity okay. uh, sports activity theater activity music activities mm. so it's always full in the summer yeah and even yeah. last la last last weekend they had the car collections over there was those old models okay yeah, wow nice it was saturday in the morning mm -hmm. i missed it but they had it i came in the evening and they said it was happening in the morning so even yeah the other days too they had like i think it was easter easter also events yeah, conducted exactly, over here. Yeah. exactly so everything happens here yeah. the place where we are going and, and actually, in the yeah. piata means a square like. piata means square so piata mare is a big square big so square. this is the big square and mm. then there's a smaller square it's called piata mica okay small square on the on the other on end, the other end. Yeah. yeah so <clears throat> inside the console tower on the top seventh floor here like you have the access to the entire city 360 so you can see from this side this is piata mare great square this side you see there with the churches and the location everything down over there and if you come to the other inside this is how it looks like and from the other side here we have the glitch tower there and you can see also Piatamica. Yeah, yeah, Piata Mika. So the small, the small square, square. Is on the other this side. One. Yeah. And there you can see the Bridge of Lies. I don't know if it's visible. Oh yeah, yeah. This one here, Bridge of Lies. So once you come, and from the other side, here too you can have the view. It's okay, guys. From the other angle, also you can have the view of Sibiu City, like that. And this is the big mountain, Fagaras Mountain, whereby even famous movie shows have been 
conducted here. Yeah. And in the winter, yeah. this place, um, especially during Christmas, yeah. there's a big Christmas market. So the whole Piat Amara is closed and there's like small shops from all around the country. Oh. They sell their cultural stuff and their mm. cultural like uh, natural oils and stuff like that, okay. cultural food. So this whole place will be covered with uh, lots of shops. Mm. So you can see starting from here where we are to go to that other end there and to the other also end and this angle here. So here we are in Piata Mare, big square actually. So yeah. you can see even its shape, how it looks like. Yeah. And people actually come here for taking photos. So you, you can never say you you visited the city without coming to this yeah, place. Yeah, exactly. This is this is the center of the city. Yeah, from the mountain where we came from, but still, <laughs> this is the center. This is the center. Yeah. And you know these uh, ice okay. on top of the buildings. Mm, uh, so so basically, yeah. this structure is one of the things that Sibiu is famous with. If you look mm, at um, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyes they, they look the... like eyes that are looking at you. Yeah. So it's called the Sibiu ice or the eyes of Sibiu. Wow. It's kind of a, a beautiful structure, and you'll find it around across yeah. maybe in other this one as well. You can see exactly, you yeah, can see across all, the all, buildings. All the buildings, yeah. yeah. So, this is just like the uniqueness of the roofing, yes, Sibiu County. And here in Piatamare, there are a lot of restaurants around, so Starbucks and other coffee shops also having nice dinner. You can come and also they have some waterfalls water fountain i think okay. yeah. yeah and also you can do some activities which are like feeding pigeons such as this one here also like in fact also a lot of people prefer to do such kind of activities yeah so fountain over here but the day during celebrations here it is more crowded because everything is happening in this location but also we said also for those who want to study in italy also you can still yes. reach us absolutely thank you and so germany and germany yeah and why italy in, in small uh italy is good because you have uh, free education okay. there's a rule in italy that everyone should get free education regardless of your nationality mm. there's small tax you have to pay okay. per year which is like 200 150 euros Mm. But the education is free in Italy, and that's yeah. a big advantage. So we will help you with securing admission, and after that, you will start free of charge. Exactly. Yeah, so see you guys here in Romania. Adios, bye-bye. <laughs> so now we are trying to go on top of the floor, seventh floor. Wow. Council tower. So in this council tower, every floor like has one room like here the room which for observational sleeping but also we still have ladder to go upstairs let's keep going if you have claustrophobia in this place <laughs> that's it oh hate phobia yeah wow this one near the Swiss clock, so it see it changes. It is connected from the outside clock over there. So <clears throat> to finalize about CB, what you have to say? I want to say Bine Advenit in Romania. Okay. <laughs> welcome to Romania. Welcome to Romania. But I wanna say welcome to CB, welcome to Romania. Of course. And welcome reach us for those who wants to come and study in Romania.